In this video, I'm going to talk about bacterial keratitis. The definition of bacterial keratitis is the infection of cornea that is caused by bacteria. So cornea is the clear dome-shaped window of the front of the eye. We can see in this picture over here, the cornea. And although infectious um, infections may also be due to fungi, virus, mycobacteria, and protozoa, Bacteria are the most common cause of infectious keratitis. And it usually develops quickly, and if left untreated, it can cause blindness, so you can see how severe it is. This bacterial keratitis is also often referred as a corneal ulcer. And these terms are actually not directly interchangeable, because a cornea may have a bacterial infection, which means there is bacterial keratitis, without having a loss of tissue which is an ulcer. So there might be infection, but there's no ulcer. And vice versa, the cornea might have an ulcer without a bacterial infection, because there are some other causes of corneal ulcer as well. So bacterial keratitis and corneal ulcer, these two terms are actually different things, and often confused with. So what are the common bacteria that cause bacterial keratitis? Some of them include Staphylococcus epidermidis, Staph aureus, Streptococcus pneumoniae, Coliforms, Pseudomonas, and Haemophilus. The risk factors of bacterial keratitis are dry eye, or if there is a breach in the corneal epithelium, for example after a surgery or trauma to the eye, wearing contact lens too often, and prolonged usage of topical steroids may cause uh, may have a higher risk of infection of the cornea. So for signs and symptoms, the patient will present with severe pain and there is prudent discharge from the eye. There will be ciliary injection, visual loss, sometimes hypopion where there is a mass of white cells collected in the anterior chamber and also white corneal opacity which identifies the site of the polymorphonuclear infiltration of the stroma and this corneal opacity is visible with the naked eye. So this picture over here is a, an example of a bacterial keratitis. For investigation, scrapes are taken from the base of the ulcer for gram staining and culture to find out the causative organism and then the treatment will be based on the specific organism. So these are some culture medias that are commonly used in ocular microbiology. So blood agar, where the organism is mostly to um, check for aerobic bacteria, and also chocolate agar, saborot agar and other agars. So this is these are some of the pictures which are blood agar, chocolate agar, and saborot agar. For treatment, the eye drops are given every hourly, day and night, for the first few days, and then reduce in frequency when we see some clinical improvement. So some of the examples of the medications are cefroxime and gentamicin. Cefroxim is mainly used to cover for gram-positive bacteria, whereas gentamicin for gram-negative bacteria. And in severe cases or unresponsive to treatment, the severe keratitis, there may be perforation of the cornea. So this perforated cornea can be treated initially with tissue adhesives to seal the wound by using this cyanoacrylate glue can see in this picture over here. And later, when the inflammation has settled down, we can seal the wound by using a corneal graft. So that's all for my video. Thank you.